Hi, um, my name is Anna Rios, and I will be submitting an original piece today called College Ruled Paper But Never Wide Ruled. And I'm submitting it to Poetry Slam's 2016 scholarship um, competition. So I'll be reading that for you today, and I really hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. <clears throat> There's a call for change, for warmth, for compassion, but you can only find these through blood-colored ink on paper. As kindness and caring are doled out in rations, cries are being heard asking for a savior. There can never be full light because we cannot appreciate without dark, but when words flow from your mind and from behind a city light pause, for we begin to begin to make a mark. But that's just it, isn't it? A broken world left by a careless generation overflows with chaos, destruction, plumes of disaster unfurl, and we are expected to rectify this monolith. How can you make your mark on those too indignant to listen? Offended by the perception and the impression that the oppression, which remains on our fair world, sending frisons of fear to the people fails to be an adequate lesson. They scoff sneer and add, do you really think that your opinion matters? Who told you that you might have a say in what happens to your future? You don't get to choose if you escape from being battered by corruption, pollution, interruptions and functions of salt in our sutures. They tell us you can be anything. As long as it's a doctor or a lawyer or a liar or a conspirator or an enabler, as long as you keep the wool over your eyes and dare not to peek out and bring what you think might change our plans of greed, which whirl in a gray blur. The irresistible and eternal exchange of 26 characters fuels our hope. Chains, gas, bullets, and malice will not define us. They say you're ungrateful. So we lean into the noose provided by guilt's rope. We are an indigent nation held back by those who we are supposed to trust. If there's any dignity left, it remains in the children, I who wield a pen in college-ruled paper, but never wide-ruled, because thinking outside of lines is discouraged by our kindred, who refuse to see change for fear of being ridiculed. We cannot blame the populace who blames the ones before. We can only submit poetry and words crafted wisely and crush the notion that teenagers cannot care for a damaged creation and spearhead renaissance slowly and concisely. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed it.